To configure your Topcon GPS with Magnet Field, simply go to the Configure and Survey menu. These will create your global settings for your equipment and you can always make small changes uh, once you're actually connected to the equipment. So from default you have a bunch of my and then a description. In GPS those have all been deleted and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to add a new setup. So rather than use the defaults I like to create a setup that has meaning for me including the description of the unit the type of message I'm going to use. I can even go down to the type of uh, radio format and the bandwidth of the channel. The type I'm using today is RTK. I then scroll through to next. I select my rover and base. So both the base and rover are set up in these global settings. In this instance, I'm not going to do post-processing, but that is set up through here as well. At the top, it indicates what I'm setting. So I'm configuring the base receiver. Yes, it's going to be Bluetooth. I'm going to select a Hyper-V. I'm going to choose my RTC M3. I can select a serial number if I want to enter it in there. Uh, my antenna is a Hyper-V. I'm going to have a slant height. Of two meters. Okay. I can choose peripherals from here, but I'm not going to add anything to my base at the moment. So my base radio uh, is generally a digital UHF-2. In Australia, our board rates are 115200. Now your radio setup may depend on the applications you have and, and what other devices you're connecting to, but a standard would typically be a SATL format using four level FSK with forward error correction set on. I can now see at the top I'm onto my rover. So again, I'm going to choose my Hyper-V as my rover, RTCM3 to match my base. My antenna height, I'm going to leave at two meters. Again, you can change the antenna heights when you go through your uh, setup. Uh, my peripherals, so for my rover, I've actually got a number of options I have including uh, range finders and uh, depth sounders, but I'm not going to connect to any of those in this instance. Next, my modem is going to be through my receiver, as in the radio is in the GPS. Match it up to the base. I know the board rates are 115200 in Australia. My settings need to match exactly the base station, so I'm four level FSK, and I'm setting my forward error correction to on. Now at the top here again, this gives it a way for what we're setting. Our standard topo survey, I have two buttons in our topo survey, a precise and a quick, and this is what each of those will do. So precise, fixed only, it's going to average three, and I'm actually going to let that auto store. And quick is a fixed only solution and just a one epoch reading. So that's fine for me. Auto topo, again, you can change this once you're in auto topo, but either by distance or by time and the correction type you're looking for, and the interval either in metres or in seconds. My stake settings, so the tolerance that it will allow me to stake the point at. My screen orientations, which will actually change uh, my references and what I can use as a reference. Again, the precise and quick button, so I may make a change to that. You may leave it as is. This is a new feature where it allows you to mark up and uh, measure by your stakes. I can't say I've used this a lot, but you can enter in all the details here as per the diagram to uh, mark off your stakes. Your stake point identifier, so how you want the point to be uh, stored, whether you want a prefix, a suffix, whether you want to just uh, start at a particular range or add a constant of a thousand to the point purely customizable there, and what note, if any, you want on that staked point. Here's our uh, RTK settings now. The magnet button at the top here actually has some additional settings, so tracking settings. Uh, as more satellite constellations come on board and as uh, GNSS modernization comes along, more of these will be available. 
but in the first instance you're selecting whether you want GPS or GLONASS and for all Topcon equipment typically it's GPS plus GLONASS, green tick. The other option you have here is your RTK settings which is, allows you to customise your ambiguity, typically we have a medium setting uh, and customise your correction and resolution period. The defaults you're seeing here is what we would recommend. A new option or a couple of new options for the Topcon equipment on their newest firmware. Canopy environment, if you are doing a lot of work in heavy canopy environments, this is a way that uh, tracks and, and doesn't require the entire code for it to predict what the position is. And also if you are working in very high vibration environments, the QLL firmware will help with those as well. If you're typically a land surveyor, you shouldn't need either of those unless you have a large canopy. RTK position, we generally leave as extrapolation. Unless you're doing some higher accuracy work, you may want to work with a matched epoch. Any messages? I like to hear a beep. I'm not often looking at the screen if I'm doing a feature survey. Uh, and then whether you want any of these others to, uh, to uh, show up as well. Once I'm happy with that setup, green tick. I can now select that from my drop down. If I go in and have a look at the options, I can select from that or any others. And I can also edit that and save it as another type rather than starting from scratch again. Once I'm happy, I simply hit the green tick and then it will automatically drive me to my connections page, which if I go in through here, I can now see my GPS is set to my new configuration and I can then select whether I want to connect to the base or rover. Thanks for listening and I hope that's been a help.